Oh gosh, I haven't I haven't been here in since last year, last November maybe. I don't even know. Um and completely unrelated to that, I haven't been able to finish a poem in that same amount of time. So I instead I thought it would be really fun if I just read snippets of poems that will never see the light of day for all of you instead. So there's this one is about fire. Through the looking glass of time, you are youthful as a spring, a light in your eyes once only I knew how to catch. It's a shame how memories shift like smoke until the shape of you is but an acrid taste in my mouth. But still the thought of you thrills my senses like a threat I can't help but chase. Do you remember when you left me because it was a cold winter day? You'd blown out my fuses, cast me out like bait. That's all I wrote. <laughs> um, I've got this one as well. <laughs> I am pushing a boulder uphill for eternity, back aching, scraped knees choking on the pleas caught in my throat while everyone watches behind a screen and tells me I'm doing great. When the devil grins, you learn it is easier to smile back than try again to ask what you've been punished for. These are all so depressing, I've realized. <laughs> um, and here's the last little snippet I have for you. Um, there is a chemical formula for love that I have a complicated relationship with, since I tend to fill poetry with science too, as if you could quantify an emotion. I guess that's a common phenomenon, the pull of heartstrings by curiosity to learn something you will never understand. I knew, like everyone does, for my whole life since the kindergarten days, where year by year they teach your peers how to giggle over their child-sized crushes, but I think I might have been playing sick that day because no one taught me that attraction and societal expectations feel unalike despite their shared intestinal butterflies. The truth is that I once believed love could be the simple formula they claimed, because at least that way I could hold the answer in my hands and pinpoint what was wrong with me until I was shown how little you can know your own heart. I, I apologize for how unfinished all of those feel, but that is unfortunately all I have. No, that was wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Y'all man. An old man alone out on his veranda, asleep. I know that gentleman very well. His face looks to the stars. His feet firmly on the ground. He longs for heaven, lives a certain hell. He's more than shallow, less than deep. The children fear him speak in hushed tones of haunted houses. No one knows his past, but everybody sees their own future in his walk. When they notice him at all, an anachronism fit only to tease, still wearing his ancient threadbare trousers, the old man considered it time. In the dark, he found his way outside, stood by the tree planted 50 years ago. He pleaded with the night. He needed to be told if there was anything at all above or below. He received his answer, lowered his head, and cried. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad. Um, keep in mind, I decided to do this 10 minutes ago, so I haven't sung in a long time, so I'm probably going to mess it up. <clears throat> <clears throat> This is called We Need Therapy, um, and it's a fitting timing, because I also have my therapy appointment tomorrow. Okay. <clears throat> um.
She's still not of her girl, it's not worth it And she knows she's not worth it But she still thinks of her, dreams of her Feels sick, can't eat, throws up over her Need therapy, need therapy She needs therapy, she needs therapy He needs therapy, he needs therapy I need therapy, I need therapy We need therapy to be happy She needs therapy He's broken more than just a few hearts before Now he's scared of breaking more That he's become cautious and careful But he still trips up when he's wearful His vigilance don't matter Cause he'll panic and you'll still hear heart shatter He needs therapy, he needs therapy He needs therapy, he needs therapy She needs therapy, she needs therapy I need therapy, I need therapy We need therapy To be happy he needs therapy, hey. And I'm broken up just as much as the rest of you. Won't open up, that's just something I don't know how to do. Took long enough to get me here in front of you. I've had enough, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. All I know is. I need therapy, I need therapy, she needs therapy, she needs therapy, he needs therapy, he needs therapy, he needs therapy, he needs therapy, we need therapy to be happy. Need therapy, hey. You need therapy, you need therapy, she needs therapy, she needs therapy, he needs therapy, he needs therapy, I need therapy. We need therapy to be happy, to be. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Sorry, it was repetitive. <laughs> Here's my book. Um, I'll, I'll get, I'll, why don't I read a poem from it? That'd be fun. Uh, again, I read, a, I read a little one that... I really like, but doesn't really get um, a lot of attention because it's because I haven't picked this up in, in a long time. I put this out in 2018. So uh, yeah, the boys. The boys wear their hearts in their back pockets. Their sleeves are too filled with their masks and masculinity. The boys bleed water as if it is enough, as if it stickers blood. Diluted and desensitized, they run off half the heart. The boys are broken. The boys say how we feel with raised fists. Women become one in ten, one in five, one in three. One in the ground is too many for me. One should be enough to question these numbers. At all of this, I'm asking questions, question. When you get told not to cry, when you're expected to fight, strength looks like contrast. Men are made from love. The boys need fathers.